Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, your boy Virtus here and welcome back to the Unreal Engine 4 Side Scroller series. In today's video we are finally going to be working on the environment for our game. Having said that, we're going to be working on blocking out the level, ready for us to put a whole bunch of different assets into our scene. So we're going to be going over getting some assets from the asset store for us to use, and then we're going to be blocking out the level using BSP so we can later on go over it with all of the assets. So first things first, don't worry about everything that we've got in here, we are going to completely delete all of this stuff in a minute and then we're going to make this a little bit easier for the player to navigate. Before we can do that let's just go ahead and get the assets that I was talking about. Now the assets that I'm going to be using come from the Infinity Blade demo. Now this is a free set of assets that you can download from the Unreal Engine 4 asset store and add to your project. If you want to get to them simply go to search content and then simply type in Infinity Blade. Once you do that, you'll get up a couple of different packs. The ones that I'm actually interested in, and I'm not actually interested in any of the characters for now, simply just download the Infinity Blade Firelands pack and the Grasslands pack, and you can even maybe even look at the Infinity Blade Icelands pack. The reason why I'm doing all, getting all of this stuff is simply so that we have plenty of assets to work with. So if you take a quick look at this pack, you can see I've got a couple of buildings, a couple of stone bits, um, some wells, and so on. Um, in addition to that, in the Grasslands, pack the one that will probably get most of our assets from um, this one here is you can see we've got all kinds of different assets we've got buildings we've got you know futuristic sci-fi abandoned structures all this cool stuff we are going to be using all of this so we need to add it into our project so the way that we're going to do that is with one of these packs selected let's start with infinity grass infinity blade grasslands simply go to add to project and then from there, if you then proceed to go ahead and select your Science Scroller project, and then just press Add to Project. And then just go ahead and do the same thing for each one of the packs that I mentioned. So do the same thing for the Firelands pack, so click that, give it a couple of seconds, press Add to Project, and then just go ahead and dump that in there, the latest version of your project. One more time, I'm going to go ahead and do that for the Icelands pack, and then from there we can proceed to jump into our level, and we can start adding all of the BSP stuff in there. So scroll down, further side scroller, and boom. So, if we go back into the engine, you're going to see it starts to load up in here. It's going to take a little while for everything to go in there, and it may make your engine run a little bit slower if it's doing all of this while you've got the engine open. But if we go into your environments and then your... Uh, everything's going to be in there, don't worry about it. But the main thing that I wanted to be going over for now, while this is all adding in, is how we can actually create some basic BSP for us to shape our meshes around later on. So let's go ahead and see how we can do this. So in the top left hand in the top left hand corner, we've got our modes panel. Now the panel that I'm actually looking for is the geometry mode. And then from there we can add in certain shapes, stairs and all of that good stuff. And then we can then go ahead and further modify all of that stuff with the geometry editing mode later on. For now, let's just go ahead and get rid of some of these bits that I've got in my scene. So you can see at the moment these are all static meshes. I'm just going to go ahead and select these and I'm going to delete them. So just control click each one of these and then as you do, you can start to delete all of these which is quite nice. And what I'm also going to do is I'm actually going to remove all of these walls that I've got here so that we can make our level a little bit longer because with this side scroller template, there really isn't that much to it. And I'm also going to get rid of all of these as well. And I'm not going to worry about deleting all the pickup items and that stuff in the minute. I'm literally just going to focus on getting rid of all this groundwork. And then from here, we can now proceed to add in a few bits of geometry. Now, you guys can be as creative as you like with your geometry. Um, just go ahead and add in like little platforms, little stairs, all that good stuff. So let's just start off by adding in a simple set of stairs. So linear stairs. So the curved ones we're not really going to work with because it's a platformer. Literally everything has to be in a straight line. So I'm going to add a set of linear stairs. Once I've got that in there, I'm simply going to go ahead and rotate this. And then I'm just going to chuck those in there. Now, if you wanted to, you could play around with some of the settings in here, like step length, step height, step width, all of that stuff. Um, I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. Once I've done that, I'm going to add in another little box. And I've got to line this all up with, what, with the little stairs. And the easiest way that I can do that is to simply go above it. And then I'm going to quickly just go into the normal mode, move it across, 
just line it up just like this and then once I've done that if I want to make this little platform a little bit bigger the easiest way to do it is to go into your geometry editing mode select this little face here and then just drag it out just like that and it's going to extend the length and it's not going to make it too much bigger now like I said you guys can be as you know, experimental as you like. Um, I'm not going to sit here and go through the whole project and go through every single bit of BSP that I'm going to do. It's entirely up to you how far you take this, what you do with it. You can go high, you can go low, you can build vertically, you can do whatever you like. Um, but for now, let's just add in a couple of bits. So let's just say, let's just chuck in a cylinder here. Now I'm going to make the cylinder quite small and it's going to be something that I'm actually going to have the player have to jump over. So I'm going to make it nice and small here and just like this and then I am just going to have this come out of the ground just like that. And this is effectively being a little obstacle that the player now has to jump over. In addition to this, let's go ahead and add in another one which is a little bit bigger so the player actually has to use their booster, uh, the jump boost ability to get over. So this time I am literally just going to scale this up nice and easily. So let's take a look at this, just like that, scale it up. We've also got to test this in a moment as well, which is probably one of the most important parts of making a game is testing to see whether or not your player can actually get over these components. I'm also going to make this little block platform a little bit bigger once again so the player has space to jump over. So I'm going to drag this out just like that. And now if we go ahead and press play, let's see how this is looking. So give it a moment compile shaders and do all that stuff. So we've got our player here, we've got our AI, and most importantly though, we can run up this little platform here, that's all good. We can jump over this first one. This one here we can't really get over too easily, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my jump boots, so I press 2, I get lowered gravity and I can go straight over this, and that is quite nice. So what I want you guys to do is simply create a little platform, uh, just a little level. You can use staircases, you can use these little obstacles. We might even go into using some like crushing blocks and all that good stuff later on in the series. But for now, just create something that create something like this. Make it as long as you like. Add in all kinds of different jumpy bits, and we will populate it with static meshes later on. Um, also, make sure you do check and refresh your content browser. It's going to take a little while for all of your assets to go in there, but don't worry about how long it takes. Is like I said we have got loads to work on in terms of this level, it'll all be done. But anyway guys, that's pretty much everything for this video. I uh, hope you have enjoyed it. Once again, thanks for watching, stay awesome, keep creating, your boy Virtus, signing out.